Back at it again, baby. You. Happy Friday, everybody. Another night funk at you. It's not Friday. Shut up. <laughs> Gonna just say that every fucking time. Yep. <laughs> but for everyone that's listening or watching this, happy Friday. Yeah. Or whatever day you're watching it. Well, when yeah. this audio will go live this upcoming Friday, but some previous episodes will be available on YouTube. So go Ooh. ahead and find us on YouTube. Watch us be. Hit it with a like. Subscribe. Give us a comment. I mean, watch us do nothing. We're just sitting here talking. Yeah, we're just sitting talking. It's no different than... You, you yeah. might as well just listen to the audio version. We're not going to implement video stuff into it until a little bit later, but whatever. That's besides yeah. the point. But... Go look at it. Yeah. News recap day. Woo! The month of June, baby. 2023. A lot of shit has happened this month. Yep. And there's a few shit. there's a few stories that I think a lot of people have talked about in the past couple of uh, weeks or days I should say, but um, I wanna I wanna kick it off with a story that I found very interesting. A lot of people were talking about this article comes from the New York Post, and this was posted on June 29th. But I think it has been in the news for a while now. But a Penn State professor was accused of performing sexual acts with a dog in a public domain, in a public place. What? Yeah, so I'll go ahead and get into the article. So a longtime award-winning Penn State professor allegedly performed sexual acts with his dog in sickening displays that were captured on a state forest trail camera. I heard about this, yes. So Themis Matsokas... I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that. Matt Sokas, 64, was charged Tuesday after he was allegedly caught earlier this year naked from the waist down, except for socks and shoes, committing the perverted sex acts with his calling near bathrooms at Rothrock State Forest in Pennsylvania, according to reports. <sighs> now, he was on leave from university and was identified uh, through a North Face backpack. <laughs> He was carrying from the incident in April and also May, according to a criminal complaint cited by the Century Daily Times. He allegedly tried to record himself performing the lewd acts with an electronic tablet, according to the trail cam footage, Fox 43 reported. And why would you record it after he was identified as a possible subject? Rangers from the Pennsylvania Department of Con uh, Converse Conservation and Natural Resources searched his home earlier this month. And he went into panic. The com what the the complaint reportedly states. Sorry, there's a big fucking like video thing that popped up. At one point, investigators told him that they uh, they thought he knew why they were searching his home, leading uh, him to reply repeatedly, "I'm done. I'm dead." The charge document alleged. Didn't he also say, like, I won't do it again? <laughs> uh, he also begged the Rangers to shoot him, saying, I need to die. Oh, wow. Yeah, because you don't come back from that, I guess. They also saw a collie in his home that matched the <laughs> dog in the video, according to Docs. Uh, he was a chemical engineer dating back to 91, receiving the last three teaching awards during his tenure. <laughs> so he was a really well like established professor at Penn state and <laughs> the cops are dragging him out. And he's just yelling, look at the collie. It was asking for it. Look <laughs> at it. Look at those seductive eyes. So he was charged with open lewdness, indecent exposure and sexual intercourse with an animal misdemeanors and summary charges of cruelty to animals and disorderly conduct. He allegedly has been partaking in lewd acts in the forest since 2014, according to wow. authorities. So this isn't the first time he got caught fucking a dog. No. But this is the first time they've brought it to light of like, yeah, we should probably do something about it. Wait, but, why didn't they do anything before? Well, the thing that really struck me about this thing was like, so they have evidence leading all the way back from uh, from 2014. Well, it's uh, because he recorded himself. Yeah, right? he recorded yeah. himself. Yeah. But it's also the fact like, if he's smart enough to know that if he gets caught, th he's going to be in some serious shit. Yeah. But what I'm thinking is he probably fucked his dog in private 
And then that got boring. Yeah. And he said, time to fuck him in public. Yeah, I was like, I, I got to spice things up for uh, for you. Ain't that right, girl? What I'm curious is it did, doesn't exactly. Did he fuck the dog? Or well, did the dog just like, you know, peanut butter up and look him out? Well, he was charged with indecent exposure, sexual intercourse with an, with an animal. Oh, uh, okay. But the sexual intercourse mean penetration Ugh. or does it mean like or did, was the dog fucking him maybe or was he just like sucking the dog's dick maybe all the things he, well i guess it he plays it loose and, and goes man. they don't mention whether the dog was a male or female yeah but the thing is like i don't think you would be able to like i mean i guess maybe anally but i don't think you can penetrate a dog no you can't like, I'm not saying I know, but people fucking, you know, there's depraved ass people out there that will fuck anything. I guess that is true. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what, uh, Google dog pussy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what is the anatomy of a dog pussy? For real. It's kind of like, I never knew how fucking strange like bird dicks were until somebody like told me, oh, like, yeah. look up bird dicks. Yeah, dirt. Uh, well, they don't have dicks. It's called a um, uh, cloaca. Cloaca? Yeah. Okay. So like it's it it comes in and out. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Hmm. And ducks have like a little spiral one, a little corkscrew. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Oh, yeah. was that pigs? I thought pigs have one too. Pigs do too. Yeah. And then cats have like spikes and shit on them. But still, this guy was like a renowned professor. He probably could get pussy on his own. I mean, what do you look like? I mean, he's not a bad-looking guy. He looks like just your normal run-of-the-mill, like, like white dude. Like, he doesn't look... I wouldn't say he necessarily looks creepy, but he just looks like a fucking normal-ass white dude. Like, let's uh, see, let's see. Flip this around. That's him? Yeah. Oh, wow. He looks very normal. Yeah, he looks like a, an old doctor of mine. <laughs> like, if you showed me this photo and they're like, this guy got arrested for something... Try to guess what it was. I was like, I don't know, like tax fraud? Child porn. That is true. Yeah. I mean, anybody can get trapped with that shit. Yeah. You'd be like the amount of people that go down for child porn. But the thing is, a lot of times I feel like child porn is used a lot to frame people too. Because I mean, a lot of times, yeah. like, because like I'm like, like I know for a fact that Jared from Subway was guilty. No, oh, yeah. You can look at him and be like, oh, yeah, this guy is a fucking, like, perverted animal, you mm -hmm. know? But sometimes when you, like, look into a certain case, you're like, okay, this guy was going to get arrested for this and this and this, and they also nabbed him for child porn. It kind of seems like that was just thrown in there to make sure to, like, really lock up the sentence. But then again, I could be wrong. Maybe there's yeah. just that many fucking, like, evil deviants out there uh, that dude, find no. some dark shit online go online there's child uh there's a uh, there's registries like mm -hmm. the 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 sexual offenders registry mm -hmm. and then you can lay it over like a map of where you live see how many dots come up dude oh yeah it's a lot it's fucking ridiculous yeah but the but how many of those do you think are like legitimate and how many have been like somebody got like hit with a sex offender thing a lot for like no apparent reason i think a lot a lot yeah like i mean that i think that is a case few and far in between because you know technically you could like like if you're an 18 year old guy mm -hmm. and you you're dating like a 17 year old i mean that's considered like taboo yeah but you um, know and obviously i mean i know some states have like the romeo juliet laws you know mm -hmm. where they can get away with it as long as everything's consensual cuz i know yeah, uh, cause seven, the parents have to agree to it or something yeah like but that. if the parents don't agree i mean the, right there that's yeah. statutory yeah and then the other thing too that's crazy a lot i remember um it happened a couple of, uh, a couple of years back uh parents were getting flagged on facebook mm -hmm. and the police were coming to see them because they had pictures of their kids on Facebook mm -hmm. and they were like in bathing suits or in the bathtub. Yeah. And they were getting flagged for child porn. Dude, our grandma would be in jail. Yeah. You know how many fucking photos are us, uh, uh, 
there how many photos my grandma has of us as babies butt naked in a tub yeah. somewhere? I'm just I'm just splayed leg like holding my dick. I'm like, woo! Yeah. Yeah, I remember I sent you one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found a photo of you as a fucking kid just running around the house naked. Yeah. And you Can't just catch see, me. Yeah. And then I, was I found, just soaking wet. <laughs> and then I found a photo of fucking me as a baby, just fucking like in the tub, you know? <laughs> but I'm like, I'm a baby. Yeah. Like, I get it. There's fucking deviants out there that yeah. are fucking who want that. There's for, like uh, for sick reasons. Yeah, that whole thing, like, um, like the whole child porn thing. Yeah, it's, it's fucking terrible. The other thing that I don't understand why it's still a thing, mm-hmm. uh, child beauty pageants. Yeah, yeah. Or what was it that was? Was that one Netflix show that happened? I didn't watch it because I was like, yeah, I'm not fucking watching that either. Um, but it was about the little girls' dance troops, mm-hmm. and they were like doing like like. The, they had little girls apparently just like twerking their shit and everything up there. Yeah. And in the crowd, like there's video, like you see the camera pan over to the crowd, nothing but old like dudes. Yeah. yeah just watching them. Well, I remember South Park did a whole thing about it. Did you yeah. see that? Oh, yeah. Where like all the judges are like jacking off yeah. behind the desk. But yeah, the whole beauty pageant thing, it's terrible for the kids too, because I know um, uh, my sister used to watch that one that was on fucking TLC forever ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was it the Honey Boo Boo show and shit? It was where she came from. Yeah. Yeah, they had, like, the beauty pageant, and that's where they found her, and they're like, oh, cash cow. But, um, and her mom just, oh, God. <laughs> that was, it's just such a gross, like, I, you see her on TV, and you're like, I know exactly what you smell like. But, <laughs> um, no, it's like, they put on, um, because it's little girls, little kids. Their yeah. teeth are all fucked up. Like, you're a kid. Of course they're going to get fucked up. You're missing a tooth. So they put, like, these fake, like, veneers over them. Mm-hmm. And apparently they're super painful for the kids. But the parents are like, don't you fucking cry. You better smile up there. You have to win it. And, yeah. yeah. It's just fucking ridiculous, the shit they put these kids through. It's just parents who have no remorse. Yeah. Because they want to, like, they want to have some form of success through their children. Yeah. Because it's no different than, like, everyone. everyone's heard of, like, the fucking, like, the football coach that was a wannabe football star when he was young but didn't make it into the NFL. So yeah. now he just fucking, like, drills these kids half to death because mm-hmm. he's like, I'm going to turn y'all into champions. Mm-hmm. But realistically, he's just trying to find some type of, like, glory in it. Yeah. And it's fucking cruel. It's, it is really fucking cruel. I mean, don't get me... Like, I understand if you want to build discipline uh, in kids through sports. But you're but, trying to... You're just trying to live your dreams through these kids, and these kids just want to play football. Well, yeah, if you're yeah. doing it to the extent that you're causing these kids trauma, then mm-hmm. no. Yeah. You're, what you're doing is not building discipline. You're just trying to fucking, like... Yeah. For humil- one, you're, you're fucking these kids' bodies up. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know how many fucking, like, kids who I knew who... Um, there, there's, this, uh, there's this one dude I used to work with who mm-hmm. used to be, like, a pretty big deal at my school, like, because of the uh, him doing soccer yeah but near the end of the, his high school career he couldn't play anymore because he just completely wore away the cartilage in his knees because mm-hmm. all the fucking running and dr- uh, training and drilling and now him as like a 30 year old man he's lives in constant knee pain like yeah. he can barely bend his fucking knees without like like you know feeling like his fucking knees are about to snap yeah my coworker, he uh he played college football uh for a while and, uh, you know, he said he was like, I was doing pretty good. I'm not, I wasn't saying he wasn't like, I'm not going to go fucking pro or anything, but I was doing all right. Uh, maybe he could fucking make a practice team or mm-hmm. something. It would have been great for him. Um, he blew out both of his fucking knees, uh, playing the school. Like they, you know, they covered the surgeries and everything for him and they didn't, apparently a lot of schools do this. They don't tell their athletes what their coverage is after they leave school. They, it only extends so far. So, like, if you got a sports injury in school for playing for that school, they're supposed to cover you. But the school didn't tell them they only cover him for five years after. So now he's having to go out of pocket. He needs to go have a, a knee surgery on his right leg because, like, one of the screws has just popped out. You can see that shit. Um, it's like you see, like, a little screw just poking up. Yeah. And he's got to go get that shit taken out, and they got to do, like, a whole, like, knee thing to him, too. And it's a whole surgery. And they told him, it was like, oh, yeah, your school's not going to pay for anything. He's like, what? He's like, yeah, they only cover you for five years, and that's it. Yeah. 
So he's kind of fucked on that. And like now he's just like, you know, he's a sales guy, but it's just like you see him get up and he's like, oh, my fucking knees. And then we went to play golf and I saw him, dude. He's these huge fucking scars just going straight down Ugh. to his legs. And it, they're gross looking. Yeah. And that just sucks. Like he's like, he teaches like uh, Pee Wee football, like mm-hmm. on the weekends or some shit like that. Uh, but he says like, yeah, I'll be up there trying to show these kids the drills, but I can't fucking do them anymore. Like it's just like even if he starts trying, he's like he starts limping away because his legs are fucking like hurting. Hmm. How does one play football dressed as Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> How? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Pee Wee, shut up, dude. Pee Wee <laughs> football. <laughs> <laughs> it's the word of the day. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I never under I never understood the sport. <laughs> He's out there with a little red bicycle. <laughs> Tell him Large Mars sent you. <laughs> uh, do we have to dance tequila again? <laughs> Every touchdown. There's bikers everywhere. <laughs> Didn't fucking Pee Wee Herman get caught doing some sexual? Oh, yeah, he shit? got he uh he was masturbating in a uh, adult theater, which I'm like. Come, you can kind of give him a pass on that. Yeah, I mean, it's an adult theater. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not saying like you. Yeah, everyone go in there, and beat your dick, but like, yeah. it should just be like a. All right, put it away. Well, I want to know the extent of it. Like, what? Okay, if he got caught beating off in an adult theater, yeah, you know, I feel like okay, could could have saw that. Could have could have saw that. He's not thing. the first. Yeah, yeah, probably not the first. So why not just give him a slap on the wrist, tell him to get out of there? You know, he might like or, it. <laughs> or was he like standing up on the seats, like, oh yeah, oh, like he was just really getting into He's it? Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I had a show once. <laughs> no, they made a big deal out of it because it was it's Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, so that's why they made a big deal out of it. But like, I mean. Like you said, ah. and like I said, yeah. <laughs> he's, 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 ah. <laughs> just, he just, just. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, it it should just be a slap on the wrist or just like a like a flashlight. Like, hey, stop! Come on, get out. Those can't exist anymore, can they? Yeah, they do everywhere. Adult theaters? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, I just Not thought... Not here, in, like, where we live. But, yeah, but yeah. I just thought, like, maybe the idea would be antiquated because internet porn is a thing now. Yeah. But some people just like the old school shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know they had, like, the, they used to have, like, those, like, stripper booth things where, like, you see them... Uh, oh, those like, are the fancy places. Like, you see, like, the glass and the, yeah. the girls will dance for you naked and shit and you can, like, beat off in there or whatever. It's... It, I guess it's, like, the... I guess, like, what they allowed people to do... To yeah. like try to like not have prostitution in the city. What? What? But are I mean, the, you still get prostitution. Like I know. What are the rules for escorts? The rules for escorts. It depends on the state. Yeah, because somebody, uh, somebody at my job was telling me that they are there are escorts in Atlanta. Yeah, there are. Yeah, but I always thought I had that, a buddy that his mom was one. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, but I always thought escorts she were was only. Banging. I thought escorts were only allowed in certain like places like Vegas, like no. under like certain permits and shit. No, it's just you have to just do it the legal way. You you know you do your fucking taxes. I'm guessing. I'm guessing the fucking like workaround to even become one must be like a nightmare. Yeah, because I mean. I get it. Like, I mean, support sex workers all the way. You yeah. know, if like if you have the option, I'd rather have somebody go buy a prostitute than be some fucking creep. You know, yeah. Like, just get it out of your system if you need to. And I feel like legalizing prostitution would solve a lot of those issues because I mean, if you have people who have a bad, like, have bad self esteem and feel like they're not going to be able to get laid otherwise, I mean, yeah. why not just let them have the ability to just buy some fucking pussy like let them do it <laughs> i just imagine the funny side of if they ever do legalize prostitution all uh-huh. around the u.s imagine the yelp reviews <laughs> yeah this pussy stank one star <laughs> <laughs> someone else three stars that's all right imagine you trying to be like a male prostitute but you're not gay so you, but you all you get is man, men wanting to like yeah. have sex like you might just not have a choice at that point. Either just d- don't become one, or you're just gonna have to suck it up and have gay sex. Yeah, I mean, just go for politicians. They they're the ones who like to just get fucked. Yeah, yeah. I guess true. Lindsey Graham, mm-hmm. uh, Marco Rubio, 
But they uh, got caught with pro- they got caught with prostitutes. Oh, bro, uh, what's his face? The one guy that uh, uh, Ben Kissel does a uh, top hat with. I don't. I don't know. You don't listen to Abe Lincoln's top hat. No, you should I listen don't. to that. It's a really good show. Uh, it's a, there. It's, he does a political show. He's really. It's. I like it. He's never. He doesn't side with one side. He <laughs> calls both sides out. And it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I, I think thought, it's yeah. Fernando. Oh. I think that's the guy. Uh, he has buddies that are that were uh, male escorts, um, and I think he said Lindsey Graham knows one because that's how everyone knows about uh, Lindsey Graham's ladybugs. Mm. Uh, you, do you know about that? No. So Lindsey Graham, he he got caught, or the guy, t- he got a prostitute, a male prostitute, and he like turned around, showed the showed the butthole and everything to the prostitute, and the prostitute was like, "What the fuck is that?" Because he thought he had, like, shit all over his ass. <laughs> and no, it was just a bunch of skin tags. And then Lindsey Graham just goes, those are just my ladybugs. What the yeah. fuck? So now that's what they make fun of all the time. Everyone's like, Lindsey Graham's ladybugs. You know, those little skin tags around his butthole. What the fuck? Talk about a closeted gay guy that hates himself, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just I, come out. I don't understand, like, the, like... Why? Like, it's more than acceptable to be. Like, is it really going to be a damp on your fucking political career? He will be, like, he would, couldn't he be a Republican. Uh, he could be Republican. Well, that's the thing. I don't I don't necessarily believe that. Because there's, there's been, like, there are gay Republicans out there. No, there's yeah. a lot of them. No, I know that. There's a few comedians that are gay Republicans. Yeah, but a lot of the Republicans that are, like, higher up, like... It sucks that Lindsey Graham, like, a lot of people know who he is because he's in a bunch of shit. He went over to fucking Ukraine for some fucking reason. Like, it's like, why? Why are you there, dude? I'm trying to get those ladybugs uh, yeah. tickled, dude. Um, but, like, he would lose his position of power in office. I guess that's true. That's the thing. Like, like uh, what's his face? The other guy, George Santos, that's a Republican. Mm-hmm. What power does he fucking have? Yeah. And then he has lied about everything in his life to this point. Like, what is it? Uh, He used to be, like, a, a drag queen down in Brooklyn, Brazil, or wherever he was at. Um, And now he's, like, all against all that shit. And he's all for guns and everything. He stole money from, like, a uh, a charity thing that he ran for a while. Hmm. Yeah, he it was, like, a charity event for a veteran's dog. And he just took the money. Like, like it's all there. Like, it's none of it. He cannot deny anything because there's proof. There's proof that he did all this stupid shit. Yeah. And he's over there being like, this is the witch hunt. And <laughs> and no one likes him, dude. <laughs> I am not a gay. Yeah, no, pretty much. <laughs> uh, fucking, um, what is it? Mitt Romney told him to stay in his fucking lane. <laughs> like, because uh, like um, in the end, like one of their like meetings or shit, you see them all walking out, shaking yeah. hands because that's what all the people in power do. And... He, George Santos, he's a fucking peon. He just started his fucking career in, mm-hmm. in politics. He got it there by lying and spindling his way to it. And he walks straight to the front, knocking other people out of the way who have been there longer to go and shake hands with important people because yeah. he wants to get himself out there so he can get more power mm-hmm. to keep the lie going. And Mitt Romney stops him and says, you don't fucking belong here. Oh, and shit. Yeah, it's like, get the fuck out of here. Like... <laughs> There's also a lot of there's a lot of politicians that people believe are closeted. I know for the longest time people were saying that Mike Pence is a closeted gay because he's very like. I don't think he's. He seems like a conservative gay. I don't think he's closeted gay at all. I think he's just a fucking freak. Like, like oh, I think at, like I think at home his mom like his like his mother uh, his wife. Yeah. Mother. Um, <laughs> he calls his so, wife. Yeah, he calls his wife mother. What the fuck? Yeah. I bet, like, at home, she's, like, tying his balls up to, like, some fucking, like, blocks or something. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. dude. A lot He's of, like, oh, mother, punish me. I've, I've heard that before. Like, there's been studies done on that where they talked about, like, a lot of times guys who are from giant positions of power, they liked to get, like, dominatrixes yeah. or people that, like like, humiliate them because... They don't get a lot of that in their lives, so they yeah. develop a kink for it because they don't ever experience yeah. it. Because a lot of times, there is like an intimidation factor of somebody who comes from like a wealthy background or just from a very politically strong background mm-hmm. that uh, you know that maybe people will be more reserved around them. But yeah. that's not always the case. A lot of times, 
they want to be fucking humiliated. They want to be spit on, pissed on. They want to mm-hmm. get beaten half to death and shit. They want to get tied up in leather and fucking, you know. But uh, when uh, January 6th was happening, the, the yeah. riots and everything, or the insurrection, um, because that did happen um, for those people out there that don't believe that it actually happened. People deny that it happened? Bro, people fucking deny that that was, they are like, no, this is a psyop by the government, by the CIA and the yeah. FBI. This never happened. It's like, it happened two fucking years ago, guys. Mm-hmm. Or three years ago now. Guys, it happened. Yeah. I was like, there. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one through that door. <laughs> no, we weren't. <laughs> Where's that bitch Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> no, but like people were like yelling because, uh, what is it? A, Trump said like Mike Pence, like, yeah. just kind of like throwing, you know, put turning his back to us and shit. <laughs> so people were like, hang Mike Pence. Yeah. And I could just imagine Mike Pence in there. Mm, I hope they don't get in here. I just loved all <laughs> the memes from January 5th. Uh, 5th? Is it 5th? 6th. 6th. Yeah. My bad. I was I was there a day early. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's every, fucking everyone at? Can you imagine that one guy that got the fucking dates wrong? He's just standing out there with like all tacked out and people are like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, where the fuck, dude? I'll just go wait at the Waffle House. <laughs> I gotta go back home and then like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I remember all the memes that happened with people that were posting. Uh, my favorite ones whenever they were showing like the shaman guy, and they're like, "Oh shit, the Force Warner here." <laughs> <laughs> I like why, like why is that guy doing that? Like why did he have to dress up? Like I a have shaman? no idea. It's so weird. That guy became the biggest fucking pussy. Did you ever hear mm-hmm. about the shit that he did? He got locked up, of course, because they were able to identify him. Yeah, and of then course. Wh- and then while he was in jail, he was just like, I can't eat the food here because of my for, because of dietary restrictions. And they're in, <sighs> they were like, I guess you're going to starve. And he was fucking starving himself. Mm-hmm. And then his mother had to go there and be like, he's got a stomach issue. He needs like real food. He needs to get out. He can't medically survive. And like, like it became like some big yeah. fucking thing. All those people that got taken to prison or taken to uh, jail and put on trial. Yeah. Bro. All of those people were just like, like how quick they like started saying other people's names. Like how yeah. fucking quick they turned on all their people. Fucking people it was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, and then what was it? They did the whole, like skit thing at a like some like like a conservative convention they had like a cage or like a jail cell and then they had one person like sitting there all sad and shit being like this is what's happening to us it's just like no dude yeah i don't know january 6th 6 was fucking my favorite meme that came out of it was the one of uh Someone had took a photo of some of the people that got into the building, right? Mm-hmm. And one of them was a woman that didn't have legs and she was missing an arm. She had one arm and she was on an electric scooter. No idea how the fuck she even got into the building. Yeah, what the but fuck? somebody had posted it and said, holy shit, Chicken McNugget made it in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, but I want to move on to the next article. Yeah, move on. So this is um, some stuff that was going on in, like, um, in early June. So there's a giant like ufo whistleblower thing that Mm -hmm. happened basically this big conference thing where the main guy david gersh uh, david gersh is a uh, former pentagon official who claims the united states had been hiding evidence of alien technology um i believe it and they're also hiding the bodies of crashed alien pilots from congress it was a huge allegation taken seriously by some only because of gersh's experience uh, as an intelligence officer working on the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, the Department of Defense's UFO research wing. Mm. So, on a Sunday interview, and this article was posted in June 12th, so it, around that time, in interviews with News Nation, Gersh explained on, on some of his bold claims and added a few new ones. Uh, though he did not provide any evidence beyond his word, below are some of the more eye-opening uh, eye-opening allegations from his forty-minute seg- so For forty minutes, he just did a yeah. whole UFO spill. The first one, he had claimed that UFOs could be from another dimension. He received a college scholarship from the Air Force to study physics. Did not describe the unusual aircrafts as technology from another planet. I do not want to necessarily denote origin. 
I don't think that we have all the data to say, oh, they're coming from a certain location. Gersh proposed that the vehicles the Pentagon is hiding could have come from different physical dimensions as described in quantum mechanics, saying, we know there are extra dimensions due to the high energy uh, particle collisions, ETC, and they're a theoretical and there's a theoretical framework to explain that. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be that this is not necessarily extraterrestrial and actually that it's coming from a higher dimensional physical space that might be co-located right here. In the interview, Gersh reiterated that he was not personally seen he has not personally seen the evidence of non-human technology but the intelligence officials he spoke with as a part of his role on the UFO task force have told him of its existence mm. so while he personally hasn't f- seen it yeah he the people that he is in uh, contact with with a lot of these information are claiming that more than likely it could be interdimensional that it's not necessarily UFOs coming from a long distant galaxy or, or, you know, star system, but they just are coming interdimensionally uh, from a dimension that is basically stacked up on top of ours. Nice. Um, I like the other one too. I read it forever ago. The other uh, theory about where aliens are coming from. mm -hmm. Uh, It's almost like the interdimensional travel, but they're using like dimensional like portals to travel to us. From the future, because they're actually, uh, uh, like future people coming back to see yeah. us, like our our the people who we will become like millions of years from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like gray skin, big eyes, and all this other shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. a lot of people also believe that s- some of them, um, that uh, some of them are different species. I think in this thing he talked about that there are more than a couple of alien species yeah. that they have confirmed. They like confirm like thirty different fucking species. Or something yeah, like something that. like that. But here's some more stuff that he unveiled during yeah. this whole thing. He also this is another one I thought was interesting that the Vatican was in on the UFO cover up. He claimed that the first UFO came a uh, case he was briefed on involved a vehicle downed in Italy in 1933. The Mussolini government had alleged kept it in storage until the end of World War II. Pope Prius, Prius, Prius? Pope Pius, Pope Pius the Twelfth, mm-hmm. back channeled the existence of the object to the United States, which obtained it in 1944 or 1945. I could, I just imagine Pope Prius. It's mm-hmm. just a car with a pope hat. He also claimed that there could be massive crafts. Gersh said that he was spoken with an intelligence officials who were briefed on giant UFOs observed by the U.S. military. A lot of them are very large. He claimed, like a football field kind of size. I remember interviewing these personnel and thinking, either these people are lying to me, having a psychotic break, or this is some crazy but true stuff that's happening. And I have no good explanation that's prosaic? Prosaic? whatever at all for this, because this is not explainable by swamp gas. St. Elmo's fire, a ball of lightning ETC. This is, this is like tangible technical craft that we're seeing up close and personal in some cases. Mm -hmm. So he is saying that there are some big shit that has been, been viewed by the military. Uh, The, the big ship thing reminds me of a, um, uh, remember that I told you about those uh, that one thing called SCP? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they have one of the SCPs. It's a cool story. Um, someone came up with it's uh so on Jupiter. There's that giant uh, red eye on Jupiter. It's that big old giant storm. Uh, what that storm is is actually uh, it's a man-made storm produced by us to keep destroying or keep uh, to hinder a massive alien ship that's docked on the planet surface mm-hmm. uh, from finishing repairs. Hmm. Yeah. So like they're, we're creating that storm to stop them from doing that. We're shooting down little drones that they send out to find like supplies and shit like that because they're on a, like a, like they're on a fucking like mission to get to earth for some reason. And yeah. we don't know why. 
Hmm. So yeah, I like that story. The the whole giant spacecraft thing reminded me of it. Okay, uh, another claim that he did is yeah. that a private contractor is currently storing UFOs. Gersh claimed a secret UFO retrieval program the government has not publicly uh, acknowledged has has given a craft to a defense contractor. I don't want to name a specific company or government elements, Gersh said. But overall, the government has been in the custody of UFO evidence and they'll hand receipt it out to a clear defense contractor to do some analysis. Gersh, who wants the alleged findings to be released for wider research opportunities in a private sector and academia, has some problems with this. You basically have a sole source arrangement and you allow certain private corporations elements to look at this, develop a potential insight and sell it back to the government for a profit. I think that that's totally unethical. Mm -hmm. So essentially what he's saying is there's private contractors that are storing these UFOs and they're reverse engineering it for technology that's being sold back to the government. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, if you look at it now, I mean, if I've had a fucking, if I found a UFO and I was storing it, I'd be fucking with it all the time. Well, it, it, well, the thing is, the timeline comes together very, very, uh, very conveniently. Because think about it, they found a downed UFO in Italy in 1933. It gets mm-hmm. sent to the U.S. Uh, in 94, 95, and around that time, you just see a fucking massive boom in industry, in in industrial. Like industrial, like, like, like uh, it's an industrial revolution. Yeah. Yeah. That's also mainly part because we brought all the scientists from Germany. Mm-hmm. Like we went right after operation paperclip, right? Uh, yeah. Because yeah. it was, uh, it was like, we need to get these scientists out of there because the Russians are going to get them. And if they get them, then they'll become a superpower. Yeah. So we need to get there first. The only thing fucking Russia is reverse engineering is how to, get all the alcohol other people so they can be competent yeah <laughs> jesus <laughs> i uh, mean this, uh, we'll talk about the russia shit in a minute you know but we still have a lot of ufo stuff the yeah. ufos Putin's a bitch <laughs> <laughs> another thing that he has claimed is the ufos have gotten aggressive at times mm-hmm. the logical fallacy there is because they're advanced uh is that they're kind said Gersh, of the most harmless run-ins that have occurred with alleged UFOs over the years, but the ex-intelligence officer claimed there is evidence of... Mil- God damn it, I'm so bad at fucking pronouncing words. Maleficent? No, ma- mal- malvicent activity? Malevolent. Malevolent. Malevolent yeah. activity by UFOs, yeah. including nuclear site probing. If we look at it through a humanistic lens it appears negative yeah this is so there's been some evidence that they have been maybe aggressive Mm -hmm. but for the most part i would say that they're probably not aggressive because we haven't had that many encounters with them well because we might not be even worth it yeah like i mean we're to them we're just monkeys with with sticks and pretty lights yeah well i've always been i've been saying that for years i feel like aliens more than likely want to avoid humans because we are violent primate we're a violent primate species the whole uh, like all over the internet people were like if aliens come down and like they they we in our like stories our fiction everything we have Mm -hmm. we're space orcs yeah yeah we we and throughout our history we pillage we rob we steal to make ourselves better yeah like every single major civilization has gone in destroyed an indigenous population stolen their resources to make themselves bigger yeah like it's that's all we do yeah and it's also the thing of like i feel like they have the foresight to know hey we have very advanced technology yeah these people these species mm-hmm. are war driven fuck a uh, war driven species yeah they will use this technology against us and try to fucking like destroy everything in sight yep. because they understand that I feel like when you reach a certain level of intelligence, there's no point in having to like wage war or have to like feel like you need full control of everything because at that point it doesn't really matter. Like if if you reach to a certain level of intelligence, you just know that okay, this is how things should be for the greater good of of humanity but, or whatever it may be. But the thing with that, I think that's a little what is it? It's um I forget the word for it. God. 
I need my encyclopedia. Uh, or the SARS, where the fuck it is. Um, because we think we're so smart, it makes mm. us worse. Yeah. Because we were like, I was like, oh, I, <coughs> uh, I figured how to do this. I can do this now. Why should you be here? You're something of the past. You're a yeah. relic. So get out of here. So okay. it's it's the smarter we get, the worse we will be. Yeah. Until we get to that nexus point of like, oh, none of this matters. Yeah. And we should all just be together. But to get to that point, a lot of people are going to have to change their fucking minds on things. Mm-hmm. So the last thing that he's that he's claimed, and I know for a fact this is fucking real, because yeah. you can't refute it. People have been killed to protect the secret. Oh, duh. It, 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 it's just too obvious. Yeah. Although Gersh claimed that he could not disclose, disclose whether the UFOs have ever harmed anyone because it would reveal certain U.S. Uh, classified operations, he said... People briefed on the matter told him uh, there have been uh, malcontent events mm-hmm. in which humans were hurt. Gersh did say, however, that he saw uh, sub- substantive my fucking vision substantive. Blurred, substantive evidence yeah. that white call that white collar crime had been committed to cover up the. God damn, I'm so bad at reading. Uh, clandestine? Clandestine. Clandestine? Yeah. What the fuck does that even mean? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. If anyone hasn't figured this out, I have like a fifth grade reading level, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to read a fucking article. It's, uh, use uh, use context, context, context clues. Yeah. Like, read the sentence, and you can figure out what the word means. Yeah. Yeah. He claimed officials he interviewed had described killings done over the years in order to hide the operations. Yeah, I've heard some really un-American things that I don't want to repeat right now. Mm. So people have been killed to keep this thing a secret. Yeah. Why do are people getting killed to keep the secret? Because why wouldn't they? Ugh, it's if power. We, if we had the ability to get a hold of alien technology mm-hmm. and there are I mean, think about it. How many fucking companies would be out there trying to reverse engineer it and to create something for the greater good of humanity? Fuck yeah. that. You know, gonna... Zuckerberg will buy the shit because he wants to go home. He wants to go back to his lizard people. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but then again, sometimes I'm like, he's on that spectrum of just fucking not giving a shit. Apparently, he's trying to fuck, fucking uh, 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 fight Elon Musk. Oh, Did you I see hope that, that shit? happens, dude. I really do. Who do you think is going to win? Zuckerberg. He has no soul. He, he's just a blank slate, dude. Yeah, He's but, a robot. But the thing is, uh, I'm thinking, like, Elon Musk is a lot bigger than him. Elon Musk is going to be a little bitch, dude. Yeah, but he also is, he, they both practice jujitsu. apparently. Ugh. They're both jujitsu guys, so more than likely, it's going to go straight to the ground. <laughs> Mount me, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> more than likely. No, I think... Um, and think about it. How, are you, how hard is it going to be to grapple that big box-shaped torso that he has? I think what's going to happen... Uh, excuse me. Oh, God, I've been busy all day. Um. Yeah, I've just bending all my feet and sitting down. Been a long day. Bro, I did a lot of shit today. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I worked. I did laundry. It's like the other I day. Cleaned the bathroom. We were supposed to record the other day, and he hit me with a text of like, "I've been working all day. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to record today." I was like, "It's noon." Yeah. <laughs> You've been working for six hours, bro? Bro, I've been... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't work in a fucking factory. It doesn't matter no, where the fuck working I'm working. outside in the fucking heat, dude. Okay, get up. I was a... the mowing the lawn okay. on the hill. <laughs> get you a fucking cold drink. Take a shower. You're good to go. Okay. Next time, come mow my lawn. Huh? Come mow my lawn next I'd time. I'd do it. I got a push mower. Yeah. That's who it. gives a shit? All right. Have fun with it, man. <laughs> Dude, I've done fucking hard labor before. Me too. I've worked fucking like all day. And you day. know what I did? What? I got the fuck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I got myself a cushy ass office job because I said, we've already fuck been that. We've already been through this, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, way to tap out. Tap out my ass, you, dude. You tapped out, dog. Tapped out of what? <laughs> I put myself in a better place, okay? <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, you worked, you worked that whole morning doing yard work. Yeah. 
And then you didn't have to meet up with me until six. You had six hours to recover. And Bro, you were I just, had other shit to do, too. <laughs> you I didn't did say that. You didn't say that. You just said, I've been working all day. I'm I done. I got a house to take care of. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I put on my little apron. I was doing shit around the house. <laughs> I know, but you didn't clarify that. It sounded like... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you my whole fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, my, my whole mental image was, you're texting me at 12. He probably got up at 10. No. <laughs> I mean, I was at 7. 7. 7 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> I got up at 5. <laughs> oh. And whose fault is that? It's not my fault. I don't mind doing fucking manual labor. I okay. do it all the time. Yeah, I don't I'll mind work, either. I'll work 12-hour days and then come record. It doesn't bother me at all. The thing is, I like staying busy. Yeah. Yeah. I also like relaxing. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> I have that right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an American. Hells yeah, man. I know. I'll I'm not... Up. I mean, work my office job, sit on my ass all day, look out my fucking window in the office, go okay. back home. Okay. It seems like I struck a chord here today. No, you did it. <laughs> I'm just pissed that you were over there. It was like, oh, you're tapping well, out you... early. Bro, I did lawn work. <laughs> all right. It's fucking hot. <laughs> I just love how upset you get. <laughs> I did things. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I worked like a fucking Mexican that day, dude. I know, but I know, but yeah. just the whole idea of just like it was only a couple hours, dog. Like <laughs> you know, I hope the aliens do come down so that way they can do the fucking labor now. Huh? We'll get them to do all the legal alien labor now. <laughs> all the aliens when they come down. You know, we already have our own aliens that do that. No, the Mexicans are gonna be. <laughs> They're going to step up a rung, man. Then they're going to be like, they took our jobs. Hell's yeah, man. We, we'll, <laughs> we've earned that right. <laughs> We'll take a page from South Park. Be like fucking goo bags. Yeah, but why would aliens even do that? Because I feel like they wouldn't have a motive to do it. They probably don't care about having money. Well, it's not about money. It's about sustainability. Yeah, but I mean, Ooh. if they are able oh to God. travel through dimensions, they don't have to sustain shit. They can just go to a dimension where they can just take shit. That's probably what they're doing here. More than likely. I mean, yeah. I've always thought it was funny. Like, the whole concept of, like, why are they always taking cows? I mean, they're probably just fucking grilling them up and eating them. Like, why else would they need a cow for? <laughs> or the cows are all, like, sucked the blood and shit. It's like, they just made some blood sausage. Or the opposite. They're like, dude. I'm gonna fuck that cow. This fucking <laughs> sexy-ass species of a cow. Because you don't know what the fuck, in a, what the fuck, uh, uh, like the extra aliens probably look like clown or like like clowns, like uh, like cows. Yeah, and then they're just coming down, like, dude, these cows are like, they're just asking for it down there. Well, the thing is, we've only like like from people who have been studying, like you know, you uf- ufology, whatever the fuck it's called, ufology. Is it ufology? I don't know. It, well, whatever they the study, argue about the, it the, on stu- the last stu- podcast. yeah, yeah, the study of UFOs or UAPs, whatever. They, they, there's, there's been several alien. Base like races they've talked about, you know, yeah. like the tall whites, the grays and shit, and um, you know the, the Nords, the Nords. Yeah, they mentioned a few reptilian uh, ones too, right? But there's yeah. got to be the some, sp- there's got to be some species out there that have probably made their way to Earth, and they saw a creature that was very reminiscent of something that they're like, yo, yeah, I fucks with that. Yeah, it's free down here. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. What is it? No, like um, that's the other thing. I remember it was it was back in like the early two thousands. Uh, oh, what is it? Uh, the History Channel, of course, because they were on their ancient aliens bullshit. Mm-hmm. Um, they still fucking are. Uh, they did this whole thing of like, what would happen if aliens did actually show up, mm-hmm. and why would they be here? And the main one that almost every single scientist agreed on, they're like, oh, resources. Uh, they're coming down here to either collect our fresh water, collect uh. Uh, precious metals out of the ground um, or just li- literally suck out the oxygen yeah, or, or something. Uh, it's it's always going to be because they came for something. Or they're on Rumspring and they're trying to get some Midwest pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's what it is? Aliens are just coming down to Earth because it's their... Well, I'm just saying they abduct a lot of buck tooth ass women mm-hmm. and they come back not remembering shit. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, they had to do something with you. They, uh, they get an awful lot of dudes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little weird. 
Maybe it's one of those things where they just uh, want to try it out, see what it's like. Well, there is the theory that most aliens are probably like asexual because they probably don't need to have sex to like yeah. reproduce anymore. They probably just clone the shit out of each other. They reproduce by budding. Maybe. <laughs> like like their potatoes. Yeah. Oh, my eye. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't understand. Like, I mean, other than the fact that maybe they want to study like humans, yeah. I don't know why they would just abduct people and then put them right back. Um, I mean, that's what we do for wildlife. Mm-hmm. Where we're like, we we bag and tag a seal or a bird, and you know we tag them, yeah, and then we release them back into the wild, and they just have a crazy story to tell all their little bird friends or whatever. Yeah. They're like, man, you wouldn't believe it. They put the shit on me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, they're doing the same thing to us. They're taking someone up, tagging them, putting them back on Earth. Yeah. It's like they're keeping track of us almost. Like they're keeping, because that's what they do for uh, population control. Mm-hmm. Like a, a deer or um, wolves and stuff. You you tag a certain amount of de- uh, wolves or deer. And then like in a year's time, you count the amount of tags that come back. And you kind of do like a whole statistic thing being like, oh, this many tags. So uh, that means the population has grown so much or has shrunk this much and blah, blah, blah. Mm. Yeah. It's, 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 I, I think, I feel like maybe that's a thing that mm. aliens are doing. They're just tracking us. That's it. I always thought it was funny to think about what if aliens have been like listening in on human, like, uh, like human news, but it's only Fox News. Oh God! So when they get down, they're fucking Republican as hell. Be like, <laughs> we're here to stop the steal, <laughs> and we can prove it. And then they get proven wrong. The end is like, mm, no, fake news. They're just pulling over transgender women. You are a man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's fucking terrible. <laughs> They take out like a little device. Do, 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 do. Yep, it's right here. <laughs> gotcha. You're just canceled now. And then you just float away. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying it's me. I'm saying what if the fucking aliens did this shit, dog? You know, or what as fucked up as it is, it would be fucking funny to think about that they've only been listening into like one side mm-hmm. of like a certain media stream, and. How much funnier would it be if it's just conservative no. news? Or if they were just listening to The Onion. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. But, um, no, the whole, um, it'd be crazy if the aliens came down and did like a like a whole like, all right, you are what you identify as now. So, like, people who are trans uh, women become natural women. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, what? So, well, like, what are the Republicans going to play, complain about now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or reverse. What if they give them the alien treatment and you just got nothing? Like, all dicks, balls, vaginas, all of it's gone. Yeah. You don't it'll poop. Be that, uh, it'll be that episode of Futurama. Yeah. Yeah, when they all become asexual and they all just start working together and being great. And yeah. they finally, like, they ask for their genitals, uh, genitals back when they realize, like, yeah, I just really wish I could show you some sort of, like, really close affection. And I, I don't know what I can do. And if Fry's like, give me back my penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard Futurama's coming back. What? Again? Yeah, yeah uh, Hulu's like, um, uh, they, oh. they, they're they bringing it back for like another season. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps getting fucking canceled though. It's like every time it gets canceled, fans are like, bring it back. Yeah. I'm like, well, why do you keep fucking canceling? Because they just, they don't get like the views that they want now because people stream everything. Yeah, but so the thing it's is, not on like cable TV anymore. I rather watch Futurama any day than watch fucking Disenchanted. That fucking show sucked. It was all right. It was okay, but yeah. it was just kind of like this is it just was forced. It's very forced. Yeah, uh, um, but then again, I feel like that's how the Simpsons have become lately. Yeah, they they've dropped off a lot. Yeah, like some ga- some shows just do it effortlessly. Mm-hmm. Like you know, like I feel like um. South Park is the best testament to that. Because mm-hmm. there's always new material. Yeah, but yeah. but uh, shows like The Simpsons and Family Guy have fell the fuck off. Yeah. Uh, American Dad stayed pretty good for a while. Dude, I had never really got into American Dad. Oh, dude, Dad. I love American yeah. Dad. Uh, it's just because the thing that makes American Dad so good is they don't do any of the Family Guy cutaway stuff. Yeah, they do. They, huh? Yeah, they do. No. They did in the beginning. Barely. Yeah. 
honestly, like I hardly remember them doing it. That's how little they do it. If you watch an episode of it, they almost like they'll have like random yeah. shit come into frame, but they never do cutaways. Mm. Like, and they they've done a lot of weird. What, what about the Cleveland show? Huh? <laughs> The Cleveland show, I I don't even fucking remember that show. Yeah, like th- was, that's how much I did not care about it. it. It had some funny moments, but it was very, it was very money grab. Yeah, yeah. And I like uh, I did like in the newer seasons of Family Guy when Cleveland would show up and they're like, and Peter would be like, "Show doing okay." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh, god. god. All right, let's but move yeah. on to the next fucking story. Again, aliens are coming yeah. this year. Yeah, they're Mark conservative Lawrence. as hell. We're going to have the first alien ever on a podcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be mm, my name is Onglarf. <laughs> we need to fucking get an actual guest on here. We I know. haven't done that uh yet. We still going to get my dad on here. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting yeah. to look for like a good like time to do that. Yeah. Oh, bro, just, let me tell you, my dad got, uh, he had to go to the hospital this, this past week. What? What for? Uh, because he was outside working on the yard, like cutting mm-hmm. and trimming up all the stuff. And I guess it was like a yellow jacket nest somewhere in the ground. Uh, cause you know, they like, <coughs> burrow, like make little like holes in the ground. They hang out there. Yeah. Um, one came up and stung him right in the fucking ear, dude. What? Yeah. And he was like, ah, oh, what the fuck? And his ear swole up and shit. My mom was making fun of him. Call him, uh, uh, Topo Gigio. Topoyo, it's the little puppet mouse that Mexicans know. Oh yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah, Um, so she was making fun of my dad the whole time, just riding his fucking ass, dude. So my dad was like, you know what, whatever, fuck it, I'm gonna go take a shower. And he went to take a shower, and while he was taking a shower, he was like, I'm fucking itching and I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And then he looked at himself and he all this started swelling up and it started going all into his neck. Oh, fuck. And he was breaking out in like fucking hives. And he's like, what the fuck? And he gets out and he goes, and my mom was like, I think I need to go to the doctor. Like, I don't know what's going on. And I was like, are you having an allergic reaction? And she kept calling me like, you got to go to the hospital now. (laughs) And and my mom was making so much fun of my dad. My dad got to the point. He was like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to stay home and see what happens. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll stop. Come on, get in the car. Your dad's there sitting, watching TV, looking like fucking Two-Face from Batman. <laughs> like, his no, face but, is just melting away. <laughs> no, and he was, like, being, like, he was being stubborn, just be like, no, I'm not going to go now. But he was like... <sighs> <laughs> he couldn't fucking breathe, dude. You're willing to die just because someone's making fun of you. That's fucking pride. <laughs> so, like, they take him to the hospital. And my mom calls, or she sends me a picture and him in the hospital. And I'm like, what happened? And she tells me what happened. Yeah, fucking uh, double ye over yeah. here. <laughs> so I told her, I was like, do you want me to go to the hospital or do you need me to go to the house for, uh, you know, um, Maria? Mm-hmm. She's like, if you want, just go by the house. Your sister's there anyways. So, uh, but if you want, just go help her out. I'm like, okay, I'll go to the house. Just call me if you want me to go over there. So I go to the house. And I'm waiting for them to call me to see if I need to go help them or anything. And then my mom gets home, like maybe like an hour later. I'm like, oh, where's dad? She's like, oh, he's still at the hospital. He told me to come home because I wouldn't stop making fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I was like, all right, I'll go over there with them. And he, when I got there, he was like all like dozing off because they gave him like a fuck ton of Benadryl. Yeah. But um, yeah, it ended up he, I guess he's allergic to fucking uh, yellow jackets now. Hmm, damn. So they uh, they prescribed him like an EpiPen and everything just in case it happens again. Oh, damn. Yeah. That sucks. But yeah. But God, like his ear dude was like fucking like damn. massive. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bomb. Uh, if you're ever cu- uh, curious where we get it from, it's yeah. from our family. It's both sides of mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, going on to the next yeah. uh, the next story. This one, fucking, the amount of memes that came out of this, but it's it was fucking hysterical. <laughs> but it also, I guess, people think it's kind of sad. I personally just think it's just fucking rich people being stupid. No, oh yeah. Yeah, but the Titan submersible implosion. Yeah. So basically this company called Ocean Gate, uh they were doing these fucking um these tours of the uh the ta- the wreck of the Titanic, yeah. right? And in order to get to the Titanic, they have to go 370 nautical miles off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada to even get to the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And Basically, they went down there with four people. They lost uh, communication 
uh, about an hour and 45 minutes into the dive. Uh, after everything that had happened, we basically found out that the fucking thing just imploded. Yeah. Basically, it was it was a makeshift fucking submarine, which is yeah, already a big red flag. Literally a fucking Pringles can with a little motor on it. And each people, each person that goes on this thing has to pay like a quarter of a million dollars. Mm-hmm. What was it like a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars? Or is it no two hundred and fifty? It was two hundred. Yes, two hundred fifty thousand dollars per person to go down. Two hundred and fifty thousand yeah, dollars. This thing even... was controlled with a thirty dollar Logitech controller. Yeah, which it's not even like a. It wasn't a good controller. It wasn't, but no. uh, but it wasn't even wired. But not just that, but a lot of this stuff was rigged with, from stuff that this guy had bought from like Camping World. Yeah. <laughs> Which is just beyond fucking insane that you're charging this much money and then you're doing. Because I'm thing, just surprised that it didn't do it bef- sooner. Like, no, like, because th- he's done. They've done this trip before. Yeah, they've done it before. So I'm like, it made it a few times, I guess. Well, I know they ended up talking with uh, James Cameron because James Cameron actually went into a submarine to go look at the Titanic yeah, when he, he made was, the movie. When he made the movie, yeah. and he he is a big like like nautical kind of guy, mm-hmm. right? But he talked about like. Oh, we went down there with like legitimate submarines. Yeah. Like this thing that this guy was using to go down there mm-hmm. was fucking very badly built. It was beyond idiotic that he was mm-hmm. even doing this on his own. But rich people want to fucking do things. Yeah. Like instead of, you know, like maybe helping people. But I'm saying like if you have if you're getting a quarter of a million dollars for every person you go down there, you should at this point already had a badass fucking submarine. <laughs> if you're already fucking stacked full of cash, yeah. why the fuck wouldn't you just buy a legitimate submarine? Because the guy wanted to do it his way, and the reason they were doing it that far out because it was international waters, so they didn't have to follow any regulations. Mm. So he could do whatever the fuck he wanted. Now, I know a lot of people got confused about this whole thing because, you know, after this had happened, they were like, well, are they going to recover bodies? No. no. So basically. The, the news now is saying that, like, oh, they're finding possible, like, bodies. Like, no, they're not. <laughs> this is impossible. That's a fucking lie. So uh, the best way to explain it for anybody who doesn't understand, like, what it, how an implosion, like, how, how this fucking happened. Basically, they're, they're so deep into water the amount of pressure around them is immense Mm -hmm. beyond like a human body could not ever make it down that low. They have to create their own atmosphere inside the, uh, the chamber. So they have Mm -hmm. to pressurize inside. So the pressure is way different than what's outside. Yeah. So basically the submarine reached to the, to the point of where they were about to, you know, reach the Titanic and it caved in on itself. So all that pressure basically crushed it like a fucking Coke can. And everybody inside got basically just like, I think they said it was like, like four nanoseconds. Yeah. It's, it's so like, luckily, like that's the thing. At least they didn't even know what happened. Yeah. It, because it, was, it happens so fast. Your brain cannot process it. Yeah. And they, I mean, they turned into mush. Mm-hmm. Like that. It was so fast. They turned into mush. Yeah. There's no finding an intact body or a piece of a body. It's like, no, it, it all dissipated into the water. Crabs are down there just like... <laughs> yeah, if anything, yeah. it's probably the most painless way they could have gone. Yeah. Because the whole thing, they, they were theorized that, oh, something had happened. They lost communications. Maybe they're stranded. Yeah, and, and the, the whole fucking lie happened. <laughs> they started doing this whole thing about like, oh, they have like so much time before they run out of oxygen. Yeah. And they were out there trying to figure out how the fucking mm-hmm. find them. But the thing was, they already had said, even if we could get to them, there's no way we could fucking get them out. Yeah. There's nothing they have that could pot- potentially just like like yeah. grab hold of them and then yank them out. Like it's fucking impossible. And then the other thing was, the Navy knew about them dying on Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, because that's what they're saying. They're saying, "Oh, they've been dead since Sunday," and this went on for like a couple, like a couple more days afterwards. And the reason the Navy didn't tell anyone immediately was because, um, what is it? They have a bunch of uh, surveillance equipment down in the water to keep, you know, make sure enemy subs aren't coming in or anything's coming on from underwater. Mm-hmm. They didn't want to show the world that oh we have things around the u.s that's you know keeping an eye on things yeah 
No, because the Navy picked up, and they said it afterwards, like, oh, yeah, we picked up an implosion. Like, they, they were fucking dead since Sunday. And then all the news medias were like, especially CNN, they were doing, like, the whole fucking oxygen counter on the screen and bringing in, you know, fucking experts to talk about. It, it was like, oh, no, yes, they're still alive. They could still survive and blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, so, they were, they were going to fucking release a fucking mini documentary over this fucking bullshit. Already? Yes. Why? It was apparently going to come out, like, this week. What the fuck? Because people are so fucking, like... Stupid. Are, yeah, they're so dumb that they're just like, well, we got to make this into a fucking even bigger yeah. story. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> my coworkers were uh, talking about it during lunch, and they were like, oh, my God, it's just... It's just so sad. These people died. And I'm like, I mean, it's their fault. And, like, no one fucking told them to do this. Like, it's their own stupidity that they that they died. Yeah. And they're like, Jose, how, like, but there was a father and a son in that thing. It was like, at least they didn't die alone. Yeah. Like, but the hubris. I, yeah. It's just like, it's. Why, why, why would you do that? I'm just saying, there's a lot of things you can do with a quarter million dollars. You know, you fucking like how much coke and prostitutes you can buy with that? A lot. That's what I would do with my dad. You know how many politicians? <laughs> yo, my dad, yo, my dad hit me up and he's like, yo, son, I made it. Bye. <laughs> yo, I'm fucking partying up with dad. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> I've been awake for three days. But no, like, it's just spend. Like, I, it's just they have this money, and it's just burning such a big hole in their pocket that they decide, I'm going to get into this fucking little can and go see the Titanic. Hey, is this regulated? Not at all. It's on our website. That's And the website said, we're completely unregulated. Like, Yeah, they signed a waiver and everything. Yeah. It's like, no. So, so I, legally, they can't even do anything yeah. about it. And then, like, you can go to Mexico, apparently, down in the Gulf uh, at one of these resorts. And you can go for submarine rides mm-hmm. in a real fucking submarine. And it does not cost $250,000. It's way cheaper. I think it comes in one of the packages for the resorts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, if I have all that money, I ain't going to no submarine. I ain't going to no space shuttle. I ain't doing anything. No, I'll go into space shuttle. Ah, fuck that, yeah. dude. Because this is the same thing. If, if What if, like, they tell you all this shit? I mean, fucking, like... We still have like fucking airplanes that go missing. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm not ever gonna yeah. get on an airplane, but I'm saying like things that are less common mm-hmm. are. You have a higher percentage of shit going completely fucking wrong. So that's why you go to like an actual space like thing. Yeah, if it's don't, being, if, like don't go to Jim Bob's backyard and like, hey, for two hundred fifty thousand dollars, I can shoot you in this rocket up in the air. Yeah, like I would trust NASA, but I wouldn't trust SpaceX necessarily. Yeah, SpaceX has been having a lot of fuck ups lately. Yeah, <laughs> but then NASA is using SpaceX for their stuff, huh? Because what is it? I think they lost like their funding or some shit. Yeah. I don't know what happened. But still, like I, yeah. like I've said before, I ain't going up high and I ain't going down low. I ain't. Go, I'm staying, staying right, right on the, the ground. ground. Exactly. You, you don't have that. My uh, feet are fucking planted, dog. There's a lot of shit you can do on the ground. There's a fucking million countries to explore. There's tons of mountains and fucking things to see. You're still and going a, high up if you go on a mountain. Huh? You're going high up if you go on a mountain. Yeah, but I'm still on the ground. But higher I'm up. I'm not in the fucking air. Yeah. Okay, I might go tumbling down a fucking mountain if I'm a fucking retard. But okay, if that happens, it happens. <laughs> but Exactly. If you go up to space and your fucking thing blows up, it happens. But it's the same thing. Like, I'm not climbing a fucking... Did I tell you about my, when my one friend in Colorado that went fucking falling down a goddamn mountain? <laughs> No. What? So I have a friend, I, an old friend of mine uh, who lives out in Colorado. So yeah. he apparently, for whatever reason, he decided that like he's always had a crippling fear of heights. And he decided, you know what? I want to get over this. So he decided to get into rock climbing. Yeah. He got into rock climbing. He went out with a friend in Colorado to, uh, to go climb this mountain. And he fucking fell. He fell and shattered his ankle and then had to walk two miles back to his car to get himself to a hospital. Are you serious? Yes. Jesus Christ. At least it only shattered his ankle. Yeah, yeah. He got lucky. He said what happened was he was climbing. He fell mm-hmm. off. When he hit the ground, he started tumbling down, and then he fell again. And then when he... <laughs> he the, did the fucking uh, Chris Farley thing from Black Sheep. Yeah. He's just falling down the hill. Just, ah! Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And then after the second fall, that's when he shattered his ankle because he tried to, he I guess he tried to land on his feet, which yeah. is stupid. Yeah. But, yeah, he fucked himself up. And then, uh, what was funny is uh, 
none of us knew about this <laughs> until like a couple of weeks after it happened. Because uh, one of my buddies had texted me, like, hey, what you up to? And he's like, oh, I'm laid up at home. My fucking ankle's broken. He's like, what happened? I fell off a mountain. What the fuck? <laughs> You're just barely telling us yeah, this dude, now? you didn't tell us? Like, what the fuck, dude? Well, that's, uh, that's, I mean... I guess that's the the thing that happens whenever you like you know friends live out of state. You're not gonna be in touch with yeah. them uh, all the fucking time. But at the same time, look, I have a fear of heights, but I ain't climbing no goddamn mountain. I'm gonna follow the trail, the tourist track. You know, like uh, sometimes I get fucking paranoid about going. To, like I've thought about, I really want to go to Mexico City. I want to see it. You know, yeah. But that bitch is in a volcano, and I gotta fucking be careful. Like the other day, you ever see those fucking memes they did whenever the volcano went off in Mexico? They were just like showing photos of people running from volcanoes oh, in Pompeii yeah. and shit. Like, like, like. Did you see the picture of the like how the smoke looked like the uh, the Aztec uh, prince guy with the woman in his arms? No. Yeah, they like it's like it actually does look like it. They like drew it out. And they're like, no, it looks like it. It's freaking that's, crazy. That's pretty cool. He's coming back. <laughs> gonna take back the land yeah but still like there's a level of danger that i will not experience for money uh if i had money yeah. you know like if you were offered a million dollars to fight like two rounds with mike tyson would you do it do Fuck. you have to do you have to make it through those rounds huh do you have to make it through both rounds yes just backpedal Fucking backpedal. Dude, it takes one. It just takes one fucking hit and you're gone. You're do, talking, do you have any time to You're talking prepare? about one of the greatest of all time with some of the best timing and fucking brute force you've ever seen. Okay, let's... Yeah. Let, let, no, let, I'm, gonna, I'm just running. Okay, well let's, <laughs> well, let's ump the ante. Five rounds, but Mike Tyson in his prime. Five rounds? Five rounds. No. that Okay, that's different then. Yeah, if you're talking about old man Tyson, maybe you can last two rounds if can, you fucking want. I can want. outrun him. <laughs> Even me, I can outrun him. Have you seen him hit the pads as an old man? Yeah, hitting the pads as an old man, but I haven't seen him run as an old man. <laughs> no, but I mean, when he fucking fought uh, well, that most recent fight, dude, he's still a fucking monster. No, yeah, I, I love that one video. It shows him like, he. this is another guy he's helping train. And he's showing him like a few things. And then the guy with the pads is like, pa, 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 pa. And then my place is like, no, it's like this. And then when he walks with the guy with the pads, the guy with the pads is like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you Remember, Mike Tyson, he's a fucking dangerous motherfucker. He's a monster, man. He's fucking. I'm going to fucking knock you out. And then I'm going to fuck you till you wake up. <laughs> I love the, uh, the, the, the Key and Peele skit that they did about that. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to fuck you right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a beautiful life together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to grow into old age together. <laughs> I want to whine and die in you. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you get home, I'm going to lay down. Oh, I'm going to fuck you <laughs> right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's end this episode with uh, at least one feel-good story. You know, <laughs> um, this one uh, was posted by the New York Times. Not Mike Tyson fucking you in the ass. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you want, I mean, no, I don't mean, want that. But, but what, I'm, just be what like, I'm saying, like the risk to reward thing, is something to consider. You know, like if you were gonna do a fucking uh, like a five round match with Floyd Mayweather, he doesn't have the fucking enough power to knock out most people because he yeah. has bad fucking hands and he's a lot older now, and then he's always been a defensive fighter. That makes yeah. sense, you know. He does. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have the skill to knock you out, but it's a lot less likely. But when yeah. you're talking about the heavyweight champion of the fucking world and you're fighting him in his prime and you're risking it for money, it's not worth it. More and than you're losing an ear. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to lose it. I mean, he might even go further. He might just bite your dick off. You can bite your nose off. He'd fucking rip your face off. Yeah. Eat it. He'd fuck you in that ring. Yeah. Right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Going on to right, yeah. one uh, last story. This one's actually uh, pretty, pretty cool. A teen flying a drone discovers two trapped in a car in a flooded sinkhole. Oh, wow. And Earth swallowed a SUV before an 18-year-old flew his drone uh, drone over a canal. Two people in the vehicle, um, the sinkhole filled with water, authorities said, and they needed help. So basically, this teenager in a rural Colorado town was flying his drone around. And then he had just saw something weird on his little drone camera. He got closer and it was a sinkhole with a fucking SUV and it flipped upside down. And it was filling, it was full of water. Mm. 
And at ground level from that road, you can't even see the sinkhole. So mo more than likely, cars were probably passing by and didn't even fucking notice it. Wow. Um, so inside that sinkhole was a 66-year-old man and a 61-year-old woman inside a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And essentially, they were in there for quite a while. Um, I'm trying to see. They were, they were 20 miles northwest, north, northeast of Denver. And uh, the sinkhole and SUV that lay on the roof side, vehicles... Uh, Wheels visible from the sky with the help from a neighbor, Mr. Lou sought help of the two people trapped inside the vehicle in rising water from a canal. So the water was slowly rising during yeah. their upside down. They're oh, two elderly people. They're going to fucking die. And if it wasn't for this kid flying his drone around, they would have potentially died. This is really bad optics for it, a Jeep. Yeah. It's not, it's not really showing off the <laughs> off-roading capabilities of that car. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a roll cage, it would have fucking changed everything. Yeah. No. <laughs> did, did they have the did they have the 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 thing around their tire on the back saying like if this is if you can read this, please help? Yeah. <laughs> uh no, it just had the little smiley face that said life's good. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Salt life. <laughs> <laughs> but basically what they had said that like if he hadn't discovered this Jeep within like 15 to 20 minutes, they would have died. Yeah. They would have been dead because that water would have rose and they would have just drowned upside down in a fucking Jeep Grand Cherokee. He's a hero. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who would have thought some creepy teenager with a drone? He's probably trying to find like some naked ladies. Yeah. 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 What were you doing with your drone? I was just looking for it. It's crazy to think <laughs> about how often. It's, crazy. it's funny to th think like how quickly something can come out and immediately people will be like, we can use this for perverted shit yeah. because that's what drones did. Like yeah. almost immediately you're all like, I'm going to spy on motherfuckers all the fucking time with my little drone. The second, like, uh, like I think about, um, cause you see them on, on fucking like memes and shit all the time and TikTok and on the internet. Uh, but you know, they make like the fucking like master male masturbators. Like the fleshlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they were like, we can take this a step further. And they made a mechanical fleshlight. So you just put it on you and it does the work for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then they were like, we can take it further. <laughs> and they made one that was like literally it attaches to the wall. So you don't <laughs> even have to fucking hold it. And then they were like, we can take it further. <laughs> and now in Japan, apparently, if you go to a sperm bank, it's literally a wall full of things that just milk you. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go over uh, uh, and they just like, and you just hear, <laughs> oh my god so when are you guys going to japan <laughs> soon <laughs> <laughs> my, i need to catch a flight with y'all <laughs> gonna burn out a few machines <laughs> you just show up to the fucking airport sweaty Where, where's the bank where's the fucking bank the the, the money bank no <laughs> the fucking sperm bank i need to be milked <laughs> I'm so full right now. <laughs> I'm dressed as a cow. <laughs> I need milking. You're just eating zinc. <laughs> You're poisoning yourself, sir. It's worth it. Well, it's not just that, man. Like, it, it like technology has always like. Remember, like when VR got announced, oh, yeah. immediately, yeah, every porn site was like, "We now support VR." Like. Yeah. We have VR fucking pornography. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You have one of those Bluetooth fucking pocket pussies. Well, you can sync it up to the porn. Yeah. So every stroke is like the one you're seeing on camera. We're getting closer to the point where it's like, it's that one picture of the guy just sitting in the chair, like living life through it, and everything else around him is just trash. Mm. Yeah. Because why would you go back to the real world? Yeah. Or, you know, the <laughs> I want to get a VR headset. For uh, to go on the, what do they call it? It's like those those they're like the chat rooms where they play like games and shit too, but people make their avatars different things. Like some people do like characters from video games or like uh, little meme characters. Like the that's where the uh, people do the Ugandan uh, knuckles. And you mean shit. like the VR chat? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But then there's all the people there that just do like <laughs> the anime girls and shit like mm -hmm. that, and just of course creepers all around. Yeah, because when Meta first started doing their like stuff on their vr stuff on facebook like, like the metaverse started. yeah yeah not even like a week later there was already a sexual assault allegation <laughs> yeah because <laughs> apparently like this this girl she had her vr character her, her, and it was just like it was a basic fucking female like 
uh, Avatar mm-hmm. thing. So many dudes would not leave her alone. <laughs> like, it's in VR, so there's not, like, touching or anything. But it's still, like, they're over there just, like, groping the air. <laughs> and she's like, stop. What the fuck are you doing? Can you can you make yourself naked? Make yourself naked. <laughs> it's just like, stop. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it was, like, the first case of sexual assault from VR a week <laughs> after it started happening on the meta thing. Like, no fucking chill, dude. <laughs> like, I imagine, like, that's, that's, that's why you can't have, like, anything on the internet without people finding a way to fuck it up quickly, yeah. you know? Unless you put extreme, extreme, like, restrictions and almost, like, you know, like, you have to put it... You, you you have to create so many, uh, yeah. like, Safeties. I guess, like, safety, like, protocols in order mm-hmm. to protect people. Because think about it. How many people out there, like, if this was back in the day, if we had VR, would immediately get on VR and be like, hey, let's go to, like, a server and fuck with people. You're going to do it immediately. Oh, yeah. People do it all the time. Yeah. 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 Like the whole Ugandan Knuckles thing. Yeah. It was like a server they could have of like a like, hundred of them. They could have like a fucking like VR chat thing for like, um, uh, <laughs> I was saying they could have like a whole VR chart like meeting group for like people that are going through like chemotherapy and then a yeah. bunch of people like whose avatars are Vin Diesel are just showing up. I got family. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like people can do fucked up things, and yeah, the Ugon Knuckles thing is like the best example. Of I that. love that thing, dude. It's just like it was the one video I saw. It's literally a fucking hundred of them show up on a server, mm-hmm. and you just hear them. Yeah, and they're all doing like. The... <laughs> yeah, like, and the thing is, like, yeah, it was funny for a while, but after a while, yeah. you're like, okay, this has become a thing where it's just taking all the fun because you I can only do it. you can only do one thing. Yeah. Do you know the way? Yeah. Hello, my queen. <laughs> yeah. Like, the, like the the whole premise is hysterical, but at the same time, it takes away fun from other people that are yeah. also trying to co like enjoy something, you know. I mean that's just that's just the that's just the internet. Like you're always gonna yeah. have trolls. We get fucking trolls all the time. Yeah, like it's we, funny. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah. F- like for a little bit, but after a while, it just becomes annoying. Yeah. And I, what right. can you do? I like the uh, the trolls that get on. Uh, there's one VR game. It's the one where like you don't have legs, so you use your arms to like swing through trees and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, there was a like a group of like people playing, and he like the guy swings over, and he's like, "Hey guys, what are you talking about?" And then uh, he made it sound like someone, like, is, like, bust through the door. And he's like, put your fucking hands up. No, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. And you see his hands go up like this. Yeah. And then you hear boom, 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 boom. And you see the character just drop to the ground and everyone starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people do shit like that. It's, yeah. It's just, it's funny. It's terrible, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, again, sometimes I feel like maybe. Some people take it too far. If you no, what I'm saying is, if you want uh, an experience to be catered for you, mm-hmm. then just make it to where people can have their own private servers. Yeah, that's all you have to do. And then, obviously, if trolls get through into the server, implement things to block them. Yeah, moderate. Yeah, moderate yeah. the people that are in there. Uh, but for whatever reason, sometimes companies think, "Oh, people are not gonna fucking misuse this," until they have somebody yeah. on there that are that just completely take over and fuck everything up. I wonder who the first kid was it, because you know Nerf or not Nerf, uh, Super Soakers. Yeah. You know, you shoot water. Who was the first kid to be like, "What else can you shoot out of this?" And then who was the next kid who was like, "What if we put gasoline in this?" Oh God, yeah. yeah. It just melts the front out. Have you ever done that? No. Oh, it's so fun, dude. But we, put gasoline in one? Yeah, we put gas in one. And uh, uh, you just hold, like, someone gets sh- draws a short straw and holds a lighter up in front of it. And you just, it's just a jet of fire. But then you have to watch it because if you do it for too long or if you don't stop it fast enough, the fire will kind of go into the tube and the front end will just be on fire. So you just got to. Toss it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that shit's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I know we used to always fucking like, uh, you know, do the little mini like flamethrowers with like like hairspray bottles and shit. Oh, you yeah. know, that was always fun. But, Axe body spray. Yeah, but that shit is super fucking dangerous. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> I know the. Uh, <laughs> I know uh, one of the things that uh, we did one time was uh, we had a friend pick us up um, from town, and we were heading back to another friend's house, mm-hmm. right? And as she was driving, um, uh, she was a really sweet girl. Um, but we, you know, being teenagers, we used to fuck with each other all the time. Yeah. She's driving, and then we're on the on the backcountry roads, and, you know, you don't see a lot of cars, like, coming your way when you're yeah, going out yeah. in the countryside but every time my car was getting close i would yank her steering wheel into the other lane <laughs> <That's> so <funny. laughs> and i did that so many times that that she just got super like she was gripping that fucking like uh steering wheel like hell and then we got back to like like teenagers love to do dangerous shit yeah and then we got back to the house right and then uh while i was there i was like i don't know what like made me to say, open the glove box. But I opened the glove box, and I was like, oh, okay, I got some CDs in here, whatever. And then I found a fucking bottle of mace. And I was just like, huh, what the fuck is this? And then not even, like, not even, like, after I said that, I hit the fucking thing. And then a little, like, tss, oh, into the God. car, and we're all like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> we're all just choking. Like yeah. dying, cause just that little spray, and we're all in there like, uh, uh, yeah. they can't fucking breathe. I remember one time, me and my friends, we, we were wondering, it was like, can we make pepper spray with just hot sauce? <laughs> so, and we were like, it just has to be like vaporized, right? Yeah, let's try that. So our idea was we got a metal spoon, like one of the big cooking spoons, mm-hmm. like that you use to stir like, uh, like big pots with. Yeah, and we held it up and we filled it with uh, hot sauce. Like yeah. Texas Pete. Or no, it was Tabasco sauce. Yeah. And then someone held a lighter underneath it to let it like start steaming into the room. And we're like, well, we need a smaller room. Let's all go to the bathroom. And had they had, they had a small bathroom in the uh in the apartment they lived in. Mm-hmm. Then we turn off the vent and everything, and we're just sitting there like a bunch of fucking like fucking heroin fiends just like burning <laughs> a spoon. And it worked. Oh god. <laughs> like after a while we're like <clears throat> And then we, like, just stopped the lighter, stopped the lighter, but the spoon was, like, red fucking hot at that point. And you just see the smoke. And we're, like, just crying. We're like, oh, my God, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> well, that shit was fun. Yeah, as teenagers, you always do shit that you probably shouldn't have. Yeah. But you just can't help yourself because you're, like, that curiosity sets mm-hmm. in, you know? I know a lot of the things that we used to do as kids we probably shouldn't have done. But, like, at yeah. the time, like, you, like, a when you grow up, like, close to, like, the countryside and shit, there's not a lot of shit to do up here. Yeah, so you got to find your own fucking fun. So a lot of times you explore, and sometimes you get into shit. I mean, I don't know how many times I've accidentally ended up at a drug den, and yeah. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm around a bunch of crackheads. Yeah, we've seen a few, um, like, if you go into the woods in, uh, in Dahlonega, you'll find old mine shafts. Yeah. And, like, people have to be careful when they go hiking because mm-hmm. you can step through one and just fall, like, it could be 10, 20 feet, or it can be a couple hundred feet. Yeah. And you just, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Uh, I know uh, one of the things I am happy that I never, like, went down was, like, you always had a group of teenagers that wanted to do more mm-hmm. than what they should be doing, you know? Like, don't, as teenagers, you're gonna illegally drink, yeah. and you're gonna smoke weed. It's going to happen, yeah. you know? And if you don't get into that shit, that's fine. It's whatever. You know, you want to be a good kid, that's, that's cool. But there's some things that I just, like, was happy I never got involved. You know, you'd have some kids that would, like, you know, get a hold of pills and shit. Oh, and yeah. then they would be popping them during school and getting fucked up. And then sometimes uh, I knew a few kids that would get hold of coke and shit. And I'm just like, why are you trying to, like, wreck your life this early? Like, bro, we got a test tomorrow. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm trying to stay up during the test. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get some rest. And then uh, some people fall into that line of thinking to be like, well, I got to do this to fit in. Uh, luckily for me, I didn't really fall into peer pressure. I did what I wanted to do. Yeah, same. If I wanted to drink, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to try drinking, you know? I think maybe it's because we saw it. 
mm-hmm. more when we're like in our lives. And yeah. We know like, like t- movies and shit make it out to be like, oh, this is a party drug, blah, blah, blah. But then we saw the actual reality of that. Yeah. That does to someone. Yeah. We've, we've, we, we've seen plenty of Coke fiends yeah. to know that this isn't something we want. Yeah. And uh, we've seen enough people that were like raging alcoholics to know, oh, yeah, I never want to be that person. Yeah. So, you know, limit yourself. Yeah. I drank a lot when I was in my early 20s because mainly one, because I was, you know, looking back, I'm like, oh, yeah, I was fucking depressed. Yeah. That was when I was in a terrible relationship. Mm -hmm. So now I really don't drink as much anymore. Like if not, I do. It's like few and far in between. Well, for me, I was never much of a drinker to begin with. Yeah. I don't know what it was, dude, but, like, for me, I just never got into the idea of getting drunk. Like, yeah. it just wasn't fun to me. Like, I liked drinking a beer with the buds and chilling outside and having a good time. But when it got to the point where, like, you know, people were like, dude, what the fuck? We're just getting started. We're going to kill this fucking 24 rack, and then we're going to get another one and do that. I'm like, why? Yeah. Like, why do we need to do this? We can just drink and fucking talk and have a good time. Like, we don't have to take it to the extreme. Yeah. And when, you're, th- when you're just sitting there just drinking but not doing anything else, that, yeah. that's that's shit. Uh, me and my buddies, when we were, like, back in our day when we were partying it up and shit, it's because we were doing, we were playing, like, games or video mm-hmm. games or, uh, like, drinking games or shit like that. It wasn't just because we were just sitting around drinking. <laughs> yeah. It's it's also the thing of like, you know, getting high is fun when you smoke some weed. Yeah, it's like fine. The you're smoking, relaxing. Yeah, you're you're yeah. having fun, but there's always that one guy that's like, all right, who wants to do a fucking gravity bong? I'm like, why? God, yeah, dude. It's are, fucking... Why are you trying to like like cough your fucking lungs out yeah. and like feel like you're almost dying? And then you have a, a group of friends that even go higher than that. They're just like, who wants to smoke some wax? I'm like, yeah, no, I I'm no, a, no, I'm no good. Dabs for me, man. Yeah, I, I I had a few buddies that used to fucking do dabs and shit, and just being near that shit, I'm like, oh, and you see them like almost pass out and they're sweating like yeah. so I fucking. Like, I don't want that. Like why? Yeah. <laughs> they're like it's like it's the only way I can get high anymore, man. Then you prob- stop. You have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Like don't tell me the whole oh it's not addictive, bro. If you're smoke if you're smoking weed every day, you have a mental addiction to it. Yeah. Okay. If you have a habit of eating cheeseburgers every fucking day, mm-hmm. you have an addiction to it. Yeah. Cheeseburgers may not be addictive by nature, but you can make anything into an addiction. Yeah. People make fucking cleaning their ears an addiction. People uh, develop sex addi- uh, ad- addictions. Yeah. Like sometimes you just can't stop because you enjoy something. Yeah. Anything become can can become that an addiction. I don't know why it got yeah, kind of why serious. That? What I the have fuck? no idea. We were talking about the news. This is a TED Talk. Yeah. Putin's a bitch. <laughs> you heard it here first. Tiananmen Square. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. We almost got to a civil war. <laughs> almost. Almost, yeah. Apparently aliens don't like transgenders. <laughs> That's going back to that earlier yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, sure. but why? I do. Yeah. I love them. I fucking love them. But aliens, they're racist. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for listening to another episode of The Night Funk, guys. Um, follow us on Instagram at The Night Funk Podcast. When you're there, click our link tree. Find us on uh, TikTok and YouTube and all those other fucking places. This will be posted on YouTube. So if you want to see the video version of this for whatever reason, it's no different than the audio version, but it will be available on on YouTube at the Night Funk Podcast. So, you know, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun shit. Um, and uh, help us out by telling your friends. Uh, if you find our Instagram at the Night Funk Podcast, give it a follow, leave a comment, check out some of our clips. You might enjoy them. Yeah. And again, uh, if you're also interested, you can find us at our personals at Handful of Pedro. And also in the woods. And uh, as always, new episodes every Friday, YouTube videos every Friday. I'm going to post them around the same time. So, um, you know, be on the lookout for that. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this uh, <laughs> monthly news roundup. It kind of went all over the place. Today. Yeah, it re- really went off uh, on yeah. a tangent for a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But We'll get it next time. We'll yeah, next yeah. Time. <laughs> next, next week, we're just going to talk some shit. We're going to talk some fucking shit. Let's talk shit? We need a good episode to talk shit. About what? 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's going to be a loose episode, so we're going to fucking just let it all hang uh, out. The song's almost over again. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. I kind of like listening to it as That's we nice. go out, you yeah. know, fade out into the the abyss of depression that we live with. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, it's a it's a back and forth with me. Okay. Sometimes I run out of snacks. Save it for the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next episode, mental illness. Ooh. <laughs> I have spicy thoughts. What? Spicy thoughts. What's that mean? Yeah, it's like thoughts that are spicy. Oh, I thought you were saying like you had gay thoughts or something. No, spicy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, being gay is kind of spicy. I mean, it could be. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Like I said, aliens hate trans, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> End the fucking episode. <laughs> Later. Bye.